Hi there guys, this is Mario Two One One. I know it's kind of out there, but um basically I don't think I've told you guys this yet, but I kinda wanna do a series where it's like I'm recording about my school year in a way and I mean it's kinda like a day in the life type of thing. It's kinda like that, only with school. And I'm gonna try my best to talk about at least one thing that's game related at all I'm gonna try and do that and right now I'm recording the final three days of summer and what this is gonna be is I'm gonna look up gaming news on the internet and see what I can find and here is something right here and also just ignore that cuz no one cuz that doesn't do it. I was listening to something while I was finding shit and this is only one of them, so I have to find something else, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, anyways, I think I should uh, start this off uh, with something like, um, oh, I don't know. One of the first day, 70 hours remain. Insert audio for this message here. Alright, I'm sure there's like some fucking fuck up in the middle of there because my thing froze. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be in the video or not, but oh well. Um, also, I can find the Dawn the First Day thing on YouTube, so I just pretty much looked up on the internet, can, yeah, on Google Images. So I, I am sorry about that, but um, can't really do much about it. Anyways, um, so this news is about an hour of... An hour of video games per day can be beneficial to kids. Now, at first, it seems like it's talking about, like, games in general, but... <laughs> uh, it's not really. In fact, it doesn't even tell you what type of video game it is. Let's read, shall we? News study... Oh, sorry, that I thought that said news. New study says children who play games for a few hours uh, a week were better adjusted and had fewer conduct problems than those who do not. Okay, what? I don't, I'm not going to question it yet. And now, time to read this in a voice, just to make this a little bit more entertaining for everyone that watches. And fuck. A new study from researchers at Offworks University found that video games can be good for children, but only if they play for around an hour or less per day. Study yeah, published today in Pediatrics found that children who played games for a few hours each week were better adjusted and had fewer kind of problems and better emphasized with others than those who play no games at all, according to a breakdown of the report from today in BBC. Okay, wait. Let's think about this for a second. So, if kids don't play games at all, then that means that they're going to be upset. Um, I can actually kind of see that happening, but it's it's kind of varied. It has to be like, does the kid know about the video, or wait, no. Does the video game, okay. Does the kid know if there is such thing as video games? God, I cannot talk. So, I mean, it kind of varies in my opinion. When children started playing you know, one to three hours per day, the positive effects fell away. Wait, what the pos What the fuck does that even mean? The positive effects fell away if you're playing a video game? Didn't you just say that uh, there's negative effects if you don't play video games? What the fuck? According to the study of 5,000 girls and boys aged 10 to 15, children who played even more than that were more likely to have issues with hyperactivity and inattention, show a lack of compassion for others, and generally feel less satisfied with life. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that I played video games for more than one to three hours at a time. I'm... I'm pretty damn sure I did that before. Um, what part makes you do that? Because I never had that. Now, that's just my experience, but I mean, I don't quite understand how if you play for more than one or three hours, 
then your life, uh, like you think your life sucks. I don't understand how that really makes any sense. And you're probably thinking, but Mario 2, the, the video games in general are like fantasy games. I mean, like, like your life sucks in real life, and video games would be for fucking awesome. Yes, but we'll get to that in a minute here. I'll tell you why that's not making any sense. The study's author, Oxford, and experimental psychologist Andrew Prisbleh said he hopes the results will come for parents who think playing video games is harmful for the children. Future studies on the subject will look at other aspects of gaming, including children's motivations for playing the structural forward sense of different kinds of game contexts. That said. Oh my god, I was losing my breath there. <laughs> um, okay, let me reread this. Okay, after I read reread that, um, now it made sense to me. I don't know why I had to read it twice, but I, for some reason, had to to get it. Um, so, like I said, it seems like they're talking about video games in general, like Super Mario, or, I'm sorry, New Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario 3D World, Nintendo games, um, kids games on Xbox, I don't fucking know, um, I mean, it kind of sounds like just games in general that are popular for kids at least, but here's the weird thing here, if you go down in the comments uh, here, I don't give a shit about the names, because let's face it, these are fake all, li li these are all fake, let's just face it here, um, this guy says, one to three hours per day, the positive effects fell away. So as long as you play less than one or more than three hours, you'll be fine. And then, I don't know if this is like a reply or not, I'm not, okay, I guess it isn't, because this looks different than this. This guy says, an hour is nothing, also depends on the game too. If it's junk like GTA, nothing. Beneficial is going to come out of that. Yeah, um... That's exactly what I found kind of wrong with some points, because, I mean, first off, you don't e they don't even talk about the games in general, well, actually, they don't even name, like, a type of game, not, like, a specific name, but, like, a genre, like, educational, sh um, first-person shooters, uh, adventure, etc., and that's where the confusion gets here, and... In this picture, you can see they're playing We Fit You. I think they're, yeah, they're playing We Fit You. It's kind of obvious. And I would hate to be in that family. But, um, I mean, they just don't specify what genre they're talking about, which leads to confusion here. And, I mean, the only clue they give you is this picture right here. But other than that, I mean... You can overlook it as saying, like, games in general. So, and plus, like, why would you give your kid that's, like, 10 a fucking Grand Theft Auto game? That's stupid. Seriously, why would you do that? If it's a teenager, I can understand, even though it's, like, M-rated. Really, who cares? But, um, like, if it's, like, teens, as in, like, not young teens, like... 13, let's say, actually 14, and it kind of counts too, but then again, you're kind of moving into the maturity portion of teenage years, so, I mean, like, if you're a teenager, but not, like, starting out teenager, um, then I'd say it's fine as long as the kid is, like, mature enough, but if it's, like, you have ADHD, don't go for it, just don't even give them games, basically, unless they're, like, fucking super basic. Yeah. Moving on. Alright, so, here's the second article, which I'm going to do this very quickly, because I am almost out of time here. So let's do this, and I'm going to try a different voice this time. Wii U name is Abyss Small, and it cuts sales in half, former Nintendo dev says. Dan Edelman criticizes the system's name, but, but says the console has a lot to offer. 
All right, now for the voice. The ultimate tr of voices. That didn't make much sense to it. All right. The way you name is aimed to smell, and the title alone significantly hurts sales of the console, according to Dan Andelman, who lived the Tandle last week after nine years with the company. Okay, first off, why why are we jumping into the name? Okay, what proof is there that the name for Wii U is Avismal? What the fuck does that even mean? Seriously, if you call it Wii U, how was it Abyssmall? That doesn't make any freaking sense. There's like no proof that they give. And they like automatically jump right into this. Jesus Christ. And seriously, like what is one person saying that it's Abyssmall has to do with the console? That doesn't make any fucking sense. It's like saying the Wii U is called Abby and then the U is the small it's like saying that so basically it's like uh, the new Wii or other known as Abby okay sorry about that something happened in the background I had to go check what that was about but I am back anyways let's continue shall we and I'm saying the Wii U is a compelling platform with great oh sorry Responding to question on Ask.fm blah, but I'll also explain that Nintendo still has a lot of work to make could the system really tank off. What the fuck was the question then? Where is the question? The fucking see the fucking so far it's like you're putting shit out that I'm not gonna believe and don't even give me proof. So what proof is there to help me believe that this equals this? Like, seriously, what the fuck? And now my computer is lagging. Which is wonderful. Oh, there it goes. Wii U is not selling as well as it deserves to, Animal said. It has a lot to offer with great games you can't get anywhere else. The value of the gamepad hasn't been justified, but the name Wii U is small. I think I cut sales in half right there. Okay, like I said, no proof, and what the fuck does that have to do with sales? You're telling me that... It's called Wii U, so it's not going to get great sales. Okay, that seems legit. That that seems pretty damn legit, doesn't it? So, you're saying that if you have a great name, you're going to get good sales. But your console also has to be good. That's stupid sounding. That fucking sounds stupid. Seriously. And, like, again, you're jumping in. Like, what the fuck? Not everyone in Nintendo would agree. Nintendo of America President Reggie feels in me said the last August that with the Wii U's name was not to blame for this. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Last August? When was last August? It's August now. Are you saying last year? What the fuck is this person talking about? Jesus Christ, man. Saying last August. That the reused name was not to blame for the system's early struggles. The challenges we're facing with the Wii U are not issues in the name, he said at the time. Instead, Phil's me said a lack of compelling software that makes unique use of the gamepad was the issue. Unique Unique use of the gamepad was the issue. Well, you already have some uses for some of your games, don't you? Um, you have an application for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Wii U gamepad is meant for like a touch screen slash extra screen in a way. And I skipped that one paragraph because it's about sales and I don't really give a shit. So, looking ahead, Nintendo's plans to release a range of high-profile Wii U titles from summer to end the calendar year. There is no summer in this. Including Hyrule Warriors, and yeah, you can just read that now, and it's just fucking stupid. I don't have the rest of the time to read this, so read this for yourself. This makes no fucking sense.
because it just jumps about something completely different. So if you enjoyed this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.